Many centuries ago, there was a woman who lived in the town of Waterford, Ireland. Her lips red like a rose, her hair yellow as a sunflower, her eyes green like a four-leaf clover. She wasn't just beautiful on the outside, she had a kind and gentle soul to match. And while she could get anyone she desired, there was only one man that she wanted, a humble peasant boy who lived nearby. And while she didn't care about money or status, it was all that her father and family could. Her marrying a man of less status than her would be unacceptable. So her father forced her to marry the incredibly wealthy and much older clan chieftain. He kept her locked in a room in a tower so that he could keep her all to himself. He only entered to feed her and bleed her. He liked to press his knife against her smooth white skin, slowly pressing harder and harder until drops of crimson poured out. She hated it, and she hated him. The only thing that kept her going was the thought of the peasant boy. He had told her that he would come and save her, and so she waited and waited and waited, but he never came. So she started hiding the meals that her husband gave her. And over time, her rose-red lips faded to gray. Her sunflower hair wilted to the ground. Her clover-green eyes lost their luck. There was an old Irish practice of placing stones on the graves of the recently deceased so that they would not rise again. And for whatever reason, on the night of her burial, the townspeople did not cover her coffin. Some say it's because they felt guilty for not doing anything to save her from her wicked husband, and they felt it would just shame her even more. They remembered her as the kind, forgiving woman she was. Unfortunately, that's not the same woman who rose from the grave. She was now the Darek Dua, the Red Blood Sucker. While you sleep, she will sing her siren song, and in your vulnerable state of mind, you will be lured out of bed, into the cemetery, and to her grave. That's when she will steal your blood, just as her husband had stolen hers so many times. The only way to prevent her from rising every night is to place stones upon her grave before the sun sets. But sometimes, the locals forget. Beware the thirst of the Dark Dua. Thank you for listening to my tale. Like and share this video to warn others. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and our sister channels Hissy Fit and Slay Tricks.